Hello, this is Alex here. So today I'm going to share about index and match. Actually, this is a question raised by a student a few weeks ago. But that time I was uh, too tired. And the course from 2 hours already extended to 3 hours plus. So today I record this video to share with her. So index is basically you need to tell Excel row number and column number so that the Excel give you the answer from the request. So for example, you just type index here. So it will ask you which are the array. So let's say these are the data that our source data is from here. Then comma. Second is the row number. So let's say we want the quarter two for product three. So quarter two product three. So we need to count count from here. One, two, three. This is product three. So we are at row number three. Comma. Then we need to tell Excel which column number. So quarter two is one two. So it's column number two. So now you get this. Exactly, this is the answer that you're looking for. But you cannot be manually updating this thing. So this, then the formula looks very stupid. <laughs> okay, then there's a, another function, match. So match can tell you uh, the number of row or columns that matching the item that you wanted. So for example, we put here match product tree comma from which area so here we just highlight let's say total is one of the potential result that you wanted or else you can just highlight the product one two three four okay so in this case I just highlight all here so I want to look for product tree from this list so Excel will let you know this is at number three one two three okay then for this quarter two here we can also put a match here looking for this from this range then Excel will tell you okay the number two is matching this one so this is number two this is number three so now if you look back from this formula this is exactly this and this is exactly from here so what we can do is we can replace the numbers here using the match formula so this is what I'm going to do so I'm going to copy this formula to replace the tree here and I'm going to copy this formula to replace this two here Okay, so now let's delete these two. So as you can see now, this is still the same result. So let's test this out. So what if this is quarter three? So quarter three, product three is five seven three zero. How about let's look for product one? So you can see. So now this formula become interactive to improve further we can change this to with data validation so i can change this to data validation go to data tab data validation so here i use list and i change the source from here so this is my data validation so I'm not going to set all this setting here. You can refer to my other video on data validation. And then this one also I change to data validation list from here, row number five. So now I have this drop down list for quarter and also for product. So let's test this out. Let's say quarter number four, product four. So quarter four, product four should be here. Four eight nine one three. 
So this is how you can use index and match combined with data validation. Then you have an interactive result that you wanted. Okay. Thanks for watching. Enjoy. Thank you.